Let me introduce to you Renogy's self-heating battery technology. In this video, Renogy will be providing me with one of the most essential pieces to my mobile cooking station, the battery. This is one of the most advanced types of batteries you can get and one of the safest types of batteries you can get. This is lithium iron phosphate. This is a new generation. This is going to work perfect. This battery is actually pretty amazing. It has self-heating function and Bluetooth. I'm going to be testing it out before I go out on any sort of adventure to make sure I don't get myself in any sort of trouble. It gets real cold where I live, so I really want to test out the low temp safety features and self-heating mode more than anything. I've attempted this challenge in the past, set everything up to show off my build, and then realized the battery I had wouldn't work in the cold. Tried to let it warm up itself, but it took a whole day even in a warm room. This new 12 volt 100 amp Pro Smart battery from Renogy has a solution to that. Next time, even if the battery gets too cold to work, I should be able to hook it to solar panels or a charger, warm it up within an hour. So I put the Renogy battery in the freezer for a day or two just to be sure this battery actually can handle the type of cold that we're dealing with here. Alright, so what I'm going to do is hook up a 20 amp charger and go ahead and connect the battery and see what the app says. When I took the battery out of the freezer, it was cold, instantly starting to condensate and the temperature on the app was about 12 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 11 degrees Celsius. The app showed multiple warnings that the battery is too cold to operate safely or charge safely. The battery would not charge or discharge at all at this time. Safety mechanisms were working correctly. Except you'll notice it also shows the heating module is already turned on and starting to heat my battery up. After about 20 minutes or so, the battery temp reached 26 degrees Fahrenheit, heating up pretty quickly. I started seeing a current going into the battery. At this point, I could safely use my battery and safely charge my battery. The battery can actually discharge safely at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So maybe about a half hour would have got me cooking. Usually the battery creates some heat, so while it's being used, cold isn't as much of an issue. I left the heating module on for another 15 minutes where it reached about 50 degrees where the battery heater would automatically shut off and turn back on if the battery got cold again. Okay, so it passed the test. The battery is super rugged and passed all kinds of other tests for being waterproof, dustproof, self-extinguishing fire resistant, seawater and corrosion resistant coating, has EV grade BMS with five temperature sensors monitoring battery temperature. Even if the BMS fails, there's a secondary protection built right in. Plus, if I want to monitor things myself, the app shows me voltage, temperature, current, all kinds of this information. Plus, it has rewards programs that are pretty cool. You can link up with other DIY people on there. You can use the link in the description to get a deal on this battery and help to support my channel at the same time, which I do appreciate. The battery is on sale right now, so take advantage while it lasts. This is ideal if you're looking for a very adaptable battery that covers most situations. 